So good afternoon, everybody. So uh, you, you all just uh, saw a wonderful uh, exhibition of a very advanced FACO system being used to break down multiple hard cataracts with great ease uh, from Dr. Meena Kumari. So when you have done such a beautiful cataract surgery, you have to combine it with an appropriate IOL to give the patient the very best. And when it comes to an intraocular lens, there are certain uh, parameters which we really need to look into for an ideal intraocular lens. Uh, the slides are not moving. Yeah, thank you. So if you look at the Acrosoft lenses, I mean, uh, uh, most of you know the good uh, qualities or the pillars which the Acrosoft IQ lens which has to offer. And uh, they really can't be discounted, most importantly being the biomaterial of the lens, which has a greater fibronectin binding uh, capacity, which really helps it uh, to have the stability and the adherence to the uh, posterior capsule. And in fact, subsequent to that, the amount of inflammation induced is also quite less. And uh, a greater addition, the lens epithelial cell migration is reduced, leading to reduced rates of PCO as well as capsular shrinkage. Then you have the biomechanics with the stable force haptics, which are engineered in such a way that they conform to the shape of the capsular bag, especially in high myopes, where the lens has a greater tendency to rotate. These stable force haptics are extremely useful, especially even in the toric versions, to ensure that there is uh, excellent rotational stability. Finally, the bio-optics, which is ocular health and improved functional vision, wherein you have the excellent uh, chromophore filters which are present within this uh, Acrosoft lenses with a high refractive index which, and also the aspheric design of the lens which reduces the spherical aberration with improved visual quality. The Acrosoft IQ, as I earlier alluded to, which has the proprietary chromophore technology which ensures that these, uh, the, the harmful rays are not transmitted and uh, filters both the UV and the high energy blue lights. Now, with this kind of IOL, which we were now, uh, you know, injecting it, uh, rather loading it into our cartridges and manually doing it, which was working fine in our hands. So what is the need to be switching over to a preloaded IOL delivery system? Does it really improve our outcomes? Is it a question of just marketing it, marketing the same IOL in a different design? No, I think it has a lot to offer. The preloaded IOL delivery system is really about making our safe cataract surgery even safer. Wherein, primarily, we are looking at one consistent, predictable, and controlled insertion with the, uh, with the IOL injection. Now, with our uh, pre-existing techniques using the cartridges with the wound-assisted platform, there was a significant amount of wound stretch which was being caused while forcing the IOL through a 2.2 millimeter wound. This can be greatly controlled with the newer preloaded IOL design. Additionally, the amount of handling of the intraocular lens while it is being loaded is greatly reduced. So therefore, there is a greater degree of sterilization which is uh, available to us. Importantly, whether we load the lens or we have an uh, OT assistant loading the lens for us, it is uh, quite possible that, you know, there, there is a greater tendency for these uh, haptics to get caught in the plunger. Occasionally, all of us have faced the uh, situation of the uh, haptic breaking, and it's, it's quite irritating after that to be actually cutting the IOL, enlarging the incision, removing the IOL, and placing another IOL. All these can be completely done away with with a preloaded uh, IOL system. But very importantly, because of the reduced handling and reduced exposure of the IOL to the conjunctival sac, there is a greatly reduced risk of postoperative endophthalmitis, which has been proven in this study uh, published in BJO, which shows a significantly reduced uh, incidence of postoperative endophthalmitis when it was an injected IOL as opposed to the foldable IOL, which was directly placed. When it comes to OR time as well, again, time is of the essence, and when you're doing a large number of cases, uh, in this uh, multicentric study across three sites, they showed that the OR time itself reduced from 6 to 12 percent while, while using a preloaded IOL delivery system. All in all, it definitely boosts efficiency, predictability, and safety of a well-done cataract surgery. So a little more in detail about the Acrosoft IQ uh, platform with the UltraCert, where uh, you have this UltraCert with this unique depth guard nozzle, 
And if you look at this nozzle, it very snugly fits the outside portion of the nozzle, fits into the mouth of your 2.2 millimeter wound. And it is only the small protrusion here which goes directly into the wound, ensuring that you can direct the IOL uh, injection into the bag. You have a lens top uh, in this position, which ensures that it protects the IOL from getting displaced during transportation, as well as you are during your injection of the OVD. You have a plunger lock here, which again prevents the plunger from advancing forward uh, during your uh, uh, IOL prep. And then you have uh, the plunger itself, which has a unique tension glide. It's a spring control mechanism and is exceedingly easy to use and ma make sure you have an exceptionally smooth advancement and delivery, preventing any unnecessary jerks or sudden expulsion of the lens into the uh, bag. So let me just, uh, this is a simple video where you have the ultra cert system being shown in a little bit more greater detail. So it comes in a preloaded system and uh, subsequently you have the three uh, the, the nozzle here, the guard depth, the lens top, the plunger lock, and the tension glide plunger itself. So what we have to do is that the company recommends that you inject an OVD, which is uh, uh, preferably viscote, into this cavity, small cavity that you see here. And once the viscoelastic has advanced, then you remove the two locks and then advance the plunger. Now advancing of this plunger has to be done gradually. They say you should take a period of about seven seconds to ensure that the lens advances gradually towards the nozzle. And as you can see here, it's now ready for inspection and both the haptics are well folded and the IOL is ready for lock. And you can see this elastic spring mechanism which you have here ensures that there is no sudden expulsion of the lens as it is being injected into the eye. So now again, concentrating on the depth guard nozzle, which you see here in this animated picture, it fits in very snugly into the 2.2 millimeter wound, truly making your IOL delivery even safer. So as alluded to earlier, this depth guard nozzle in comparison with the other uh, platforms has shown that the wound stretch is greatly minimized with this technology. And as we all know, that the amount of wound stretch, the wound distortion, definitely contributes to our uh, final outcomes, the surgically induced astigmatism, and this can be greatly controlled and reduced with the depth guard nozzle. Again, feedback from surgeons is probably what is most important, and spontaneously, most surgeons have described this, this kind of uh, tension glide plunger and the delivery system as smooth. And even with regards to delivery performance, they found that not even a single lens in this particular study had the trailing haptic which was caught to the uh, plunger or any uh, difficulty in ejecting it from the preloaded system. So I have a couple of videos here. One video where uh, you can just see that the IOL being, yeah, this is the uh, demonstration on the, on the wet lab. So the first step is to uh, inject the OVD into the system and look at the way it is being held horizontally. I will show another video here that where it's important that you hold this uh, entire system horizontally and not vertically or, per, or perpendicular to you. You hold it parallel to your body and then inject the OVD. Remove the two stops. After you remove the plunger lock, then you start advancing the plunger towards it. And this is when, as I mentioned, take a period of seven seconds as you gradually advance the plunger and then the IOL is ready for inspection. And at this point of time, you can see if both the haptics are tucked in comfortably. So a quick couple of videos where I'm showing that this very snugly fits into this 2.2 millimeter wound where the phaco emulsification has been completed. And then the IOL can be very smoothly injected. You don't even require a second instrument. And then just directly is being tucked into the bag with the utmost ease and comfort. So one point which I wanted to demonstrate uh, in this particular video is, now as you can see here, the uh, mistake which I did, this was one of my earlier cases, where I'm not holding uh, this parallel to my body, but it's rather perpendicular, so vertical in a, in a sense. And as I inject the OVD, now this can occasionally lead to displacement of the leading haptic. And uh, now I have not realized that while I'm injecting this OVD, but then when I uh, remove the stops and then go on 
to the surgery proper. Now here it, you can again see it fits in very snugly, very easily, very minimal moon stretch. But as you can see here, the plunger, the leading, the leading haptic is now uh, already protruding out and not tucked in as it was in the earlier case. Really doesn't cause too much difficulty. You can still easily rotate it and place it in the bag with uh, ultimate and consummate ease. But then it's a small caveat to keep in mind that to hold the plunger tip horizontal. So in, uh, to summarize, the preloaded I.O. system definitely enhances the convenience and efficiency that you have in the OR, greatly reduces the risk to the damage to the IOL, which I think is invaluable to us when you're doing a, a premium case with a premium IOL, you definitely don't want broken haptics uh, for your case. Definitely decrease wound stretch, make sure that you're potentially minimizing the SIA and an ideal delivery system for delivering the, the ideal IOL. Thank you so much for your kind